I was once approached by a fellow nature enthusiast who said to me, you're a person who is drawn to water. What's your star sign? I replied, not really. In fact, I'm actually afraid of the ocean. Oh, and I'm a cancer, which just so happens to be a water sign, but I don't really do the whole star sign thing, so. Turns out they were probably right. There is just something about a water element in an image that really, really satisfies me. Very simple first shot. We've got a small fall here and it is surrounded by mossy rocks. It's quite slippery and so I'm going to take my time today just to make sure no accidents happen. For those who don't know, my name is Courtney Victoria and I'm accident prone. So I had very, very carefully scrambled down these rocks to the base of our first big waterfall. The view is much better down here than it is from up top. We've got two waterfalls, big one on the left here, and then a second one which is hiding around a little corner on the right there. From here, we've got a side on view. And what I really, really want to do is cross this water here and get to that dry rock on the other side. As I think from there, you get more of a face on view and that second waterfall will be a lot more visible. This water is a lot deeper than it looks and we're not gonna risk it today. We're gonna try and keep our gear and myself dry. So we're just gonna stick to this side and see what we can do with it. After framing up an idea handheld, I tested out both a low angle and eye level horizontal shot, leaning more towards the eye level composition where I could include the rocks to the far right and capture this space encased by a mossy wall of rock. The water was incredibly fast flowing, so an ND filter wasn't necessary. I did use a polarizing filter just to take that surface glare off the water. Well, that's inconvenient. I can get through that. Yeah, come on. Let's, uh, let's go for it. Oh, God. Um, I mean, it's, it's quite a big tree, actually. Ow, nettles. I don't think there's a way down there. That's well and truly blocked, that is. Well, I guess it's back that way then. After backtracking, I went on a mission to find a second waterfall. While I explored, I came across more parts of the river, an old creepy tunnel that I'm sure somebody else was also exploring the inside of as I heard music in there. Nope, this is how horror movies start. There were plenty of pathways to wander and an abundance of hills. Eventually, I had an inkling that I was walking in the wrong direction again and had to backtrack for a second time.
We made it a trickle of a waterfall, mind you, but it's what we've got. As I got set up and ready to document this waterfall, the golden sun peering through the trees disappeared within the blink of an eye and rain started to fall. No worries though, it's only a shower. I have framed up a composition, I'm trying to be very quick. We've got a lot of different elements to this image. We've got the fallen tree trunk that's leaning against the mossy wall to the left. Obviously the waterfall and the pool of water. And then right in the far back, you can just see that viaduct just towering over everything in the background. I'm gonna grab this shot really, really quickly. I'm gonna to have to focus stack Take one image focusing on that tree trunk in the foreground and then one image on the waterfall behind. We've kind of got a triangle of subjects here and I'd be very interested to know where your eye leads first, whether your eye goes straight to the tree trunk, your eye goes to the waterfall, if your eye goes up to the top of the image, to that viaduct. Now rain I can deal with, but filming in thunder is not something I'm comfortable with for obvious reasons, so I decided it was best just to go back to the car. Now the last image that you saw was really the first composition that I found there, and I like it. I think the lack of light, those dark rain clouds, really makes it a moody image, but I would have liked to have explored other composition ideas as well. I suppose a task for next time. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.